What this study shows is that in this uh, enormous uh, continental shelf seas north of Siberia in the Arctic, is that there is methane leaking out from the bottom sediments through the water column and making it up into the atmosphere. In, in this area where it was earlier believed that the subsea permafrost acted as a lid to hold the methane in place. Uh, what, the, what we see here now uh, is, uh, is a flux to the atmosphere that is, is uh, large relative to the rest of the ocean, in fact, but it's still not at the magnitude that where it uh, would uh, significantly affect today's climate. The expedition 2008, uh, the International Siberian Shelf Study, was a Russian-Swedish uh, uh, expedition with about 30 researchers on board. And we spent the time from end of August to early October in the East Siberian Arctic seas, uh, sampling uh, at over 100 locations, uh, bottom sediments, the, uh, the seawater column, and the overlying air uh, for many components, including methane. Igor Semelietov and Natalia Shako and their team have, uh, have, led these expedi uh, have led expeditions to this area for several years and been absolutely instrumental in improving understanding and, and, and for, for, uh, for us to understand that this phenomenon is now actually happening. The International Siberian Shelf Study that we had August to October 2008 was a joint uh, Russian-Swedish expedition uh, covered a much wider area than before and we then understood that the phenomenon was, was quite widespread in this very large uh, shelf seas. On the Siberian side, this used to be uh, tundra and taiga uh, in Siberia on land during places in the last ice period, uh, glacial period. And then when the glaciers uh, melted and the, sea, the seawater level was rising, this huge area flooded over by the seawater to create a shallow ocean above this, this frozen tundra. Uh, and um, that has uh, contributed to uh, accelerate the uh, warming of this very cold permafrost uh, that is under, under the ocean because uh, the seawater is warmer than, than the air temperature on, on land. I'd like to stress that these methane fluxes to the atmosphere that we see now, uh, or that is going on right now, uh, is, uh, is of the magnitude that it is not significantly affecting the atmospheric methane balance and therefore not leading to an abrupt climate warming now.